is a mess it's because it's such a windy day but it doesn't matter because all I want to tell you today about is the books that I read during the holidays so far. Uh, firstly I finished this one it's Martina Riley All I Want Is You and this is a good poolside read. It's a really really easy book. It's the kind of book that doesn't need much thinking. The flow of the language is really good and it just goes really fast reading that book. So, as I said, perfect pool, poolside read. Um, it's about the girl who has everything, pretty much. Uh, she has a young son, uh, she has a husband, she has a huge house. That's what she thinks that she wants from life and that is important in life. So yeah, she has all the material things that she needs and then one day it's all taken away because uh, her husband's company goes bust along with a, fr a friend, a co-partner uh, who, was, who was in the company, runs away with all the money and leaves them to deal with the consequences. So they have to move into a small house and um, in the outskirts of Dublin instead of the big house where they lived before and she finds it really hard to cope with it which when you read it and if you're not used to all these kind of things and if you're not taking life for granted then it really sounds a bit like she's an airhead but she does have her heart in the right place so it's okay and you do warm to her because she's not she's not a bad person so that's why I do recommend it to read as the poolside read, but don't expect any lifelong uh, philosophies out of it. Don't expect to be blown away or anything like that. It's just the poolside read. Then, the second book that I read was this, Keeping Mom by Emma Hannigan. Emma Hannigan's books, I have read one before. And I didn't like that much, that very much, um, but this book I do really like. It has a story of, like, inter intertwined story about three women and their daughters. And the book is written uh, by both sides. It tells the story of how these women had their daughters and what they were like before they had the daughters and then it tells the story from the daughter's side of how they see their mothers, how they see their life and to be honest it was hard to remember which mother had which daughter not with two of them, Greta and Tally they were really mem memorable and you wouldn't think that the other mother had this daughter for example so these were really memorable but the other two mothers and daughters Ava and Mia as mothers and Felicity and uh, Daisy as daughters I constantly found myself thinking oh hang on a second which one was which one's mother now uh, but other than that it was a good book uh, I do recommend it to read if you like the heart heartwarming stories because that's one of these so yeah that's another book that I happened to read in the last six, seven days or so. And then, because two um, of that kind of romance slash uh, chick flick books was pretty much enough for me, I took this, James Patterson's London Bridges. And I have to say that it was really good. It was a welcome change after two sweet books. So. If you are a fan of James Patterson, then this one is not going to disappoint you either. Uh, I haven't read any other of his books with Alex Cross in it. He has several characters that are going uh, through his books uh, as, as one character. And this detective or doctor, um, Alex Cross, I haven't read any of them before, even though that's the tenth book with this character. And I'm definitely going to read the other ones as well. It was suspense, it was not dragging, I really liked that book and it was really 
you know, the kind of book that you feel that you can't put away before you reach the end because you want to know what's happening and there's so many twists and turns in the story and that's why I like the way he's writing and it's always full of surprises so and full of information full of interesting information actually because he's using a lot of facts in his books uh, about the places about the um, technicalities so definitely the one to read if you're a crime fan that's it I've managed to read three books in the last six seven days which is huge for me because that's a holiday and, and that's why I've managed that. Other than that last book that I read took me nearly four months. Just life and everything got so busy and I managed to read like 10 pages at the time. So yeah, thanks for watching and let me know if you have read any of these books and if you have what you thought of them.